So yes, um, let's teach how to install Jupyter properly and resolve printing blank pages. So we receive a lot of comments for the past weeks. Actually, possible na months na siya. So they've been having trouble printing blank pages and they cannot resolve it. And instead of teaching them one by one, uh, we decided to create a tutorial so that it will benefit all of those who need in help, help. So, yeah. First, uh, we should install right away the single installer instead of the nice label. Um, it will probably take you about 20 to 30 minutes uh, depending on your internet um, speed. So, first, um, Turn on the printer. So I think I'm already turned it on and connected to the USB port. And then, since um, the windows will automatically detect your printer, so this is the one that um, windows have detected. But first, I will show you that it is printing uh, a blank pages. So let's do a print test. As you notice, there's nothing printed. So what we have to do is to remove that one, click, then remove device, yes. And after that, uh, go to the print server properties. Dito lang po yun. Here, uh, this is at the bottom of the page. Uh, by the way, I'm trying to do a tutorial in English since um, it can serve our fellow um, fellow um, online sellers from other countries, not, not just uh, Filipinos. So, print server properties and then go to the tab drivers. And then you can see that uh, this is our printer, G-Printer. And then, let's remove this. Oh. Choose remove driver and the package and then okay. Click yes. And then delete. It says failed and access is denied. But don't worry, when we try to install it uh, the the single installer, it will remove it will remove the package that um that uh they have to completely remove the package and then click OK. And then, after which, we go to the downloads page. Downloads. And then, uh, this is the file name. Uh, don't worry if this is not the file name that shows up. Uh, the most important thing is the one that you, you downloaded was from the website, this one from Seagull, because it will change from time to time. And of course, if there was an update, they will uh, update the file name. So um, instead of me sending you the, the installer uh, file name, you have to download it so that we know for sure that you have the updated one. Last time, this one was just last July 6. So, after three weeks, it will be filing. So, this is the filing. So, this is the latest one. I just downloaded it um, just this morning so that it will be ready for this tutorial. I don't want us to wait for 30 minutes just to download them. So double click it, then I accept the term, and then click next, and then it's already picked, just click finish, and then there's this instruction, if, if you want to read it, go ahead, uh, otherwise you can um, just follow this tutorial. And then this will pop up and then click yes. And then 
uh, if there are some something that pops up below the this duck, I'll just click it. And then install printer drivers. It's already click again and then click next. Uh, basically, all the default settings you just click next, next, and then. As you can see, the magnifying plus keeps on spinning. So, if that happens, we have to remove it. We have to remove the USB uh, cable from the laptop or desktop. So, I'm removing it now. And then, what you have to do, um, put it back, to insert it so that it will refresh or... Yeah. So you can hear the sound, it means uh, it was detecting a USB cable and then it will pop up. Anyway, uh, during the course of the, this tutorial, if nothing happens, what you have to do, I have this from the tutorial, if it cannot detect, it cannot, uh, it keeps on spinning, uh, use other USB port because some USB port um, because some USB port is not compatible with our printer, so in short, if you have three USB ports, use USB number two and USB port number three. Alright, and then after that, let's go back to the installation wizard and then click next again. Then, uh, this one. Use this printer as a default printer. If you don't have any printer um, installed in your laptop or computer, you can tick this one. Otherwise, uh, you can untick since I have an Epson. I have an Epson here, but my, I, don't, I don't want this to be my default uh, printer. So click next and then click finish. So this is where the magic happens. Alright, so I can see a not responding option. So let's see if we 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 have resolved the problem. Let's go to the printer since finance. Click manage. Let's do a print test page. Let's the it. So there we go. If it will, um, it will automatically adjust the tape. And then go to printer properties and then click preferences. I choose general here at the top. And then click preferences. Page setup. So the most important thing is the size of the paper. You have to choose 4 by 6. So this is the size of our label printer for most of us, Shopee, in Lazada also. Then click OK. Then click OK again. And then let's do a sample test print. By the way, I I highly advise to use Adobe Acrobat Reader for printer printing because this is the most uh, user-friendly and um, it will resolve most of your printing issue. This was the one I used when I want to uh, avoid the G-Printer Blueprint uh, error. So, uh, I chose Ctrl P then let's see the properties. Since we've already changed it a while ago, it's already 4 by 6 inches. Then click OK. And then we have to use the fit, fit, uh, fit sizing in the link. So all the text will fit in our 4 by 6 uh, paper. So don't use the actual size, costume scale, and even shrink. This is the right option. Then this is a two page, but I will only print one page. Big print. 
resolve the um we resolve this error so i hope this uh, tutorial helps you and have a good day and god bless you don't worry you can subscribe please and also hit the thumbs up button so that i will other online news online sellers will see this video